Auto Reviews is welcome to an in-depth, extended narration about the futuristic German attack helicopter Sturmklinge 2026 designed to provide a comprehensive audio briefing for enthusiasts professionals and anyone curious about advanced military aviation in this extended voiceover we will cover design philosophy materials and manufacturing methods propulsion and performance avionics and sensor suites weapons and countermeasures operational roles tactics training logistics maintenance development history political and ethical considerations export potential and a vision for future upgrades and mission pro files the goal of this presentation is to deliver a dense informative and engaging description that can serve as a full-length documentary style voice track for your channel so sit back and imagine every detail as we walk through the anatomy and the capabilities of the Sturmklinge 2026 the Sturmklinge 2026 is conceived as a multi-role attack and reconnaissance platform optimized for high survivability in contested environments its external form follows a stealth first philosophy with angular faceting blended surfaces and minimal protrusions to reduce radar cross-section the exterior skin is a multi-layer composite sandwich combining aerospace-grade carbon fiber honeycomb cores with ceramic and polymer-based radar absorbing layers the manufacturing process uses advanced automated fiber placement and precision resin infusion combined with local reinforcement at high stress points to produce a structure that is both light and extraordinarily durable thermal management is addressed by integrated heat sinks and active cooling channels that route thermal energy away from critical components while minimizing infrared signature a key to the Sturmklinge design is low observability ability across multiple spectrums the helicopter uses a mixture of shaping ram coatings and an internalized weapons bay architecture so that when armed it maintains a compact low drag profile the main rotor employs scimitar style composite blades with swept tips and a specialized trailing edge serration to reduce acoustic signature the gearbox is a reduced vibration design isolated from the fuselage by advanced elastomeric mounts to further minimize noise and structural fatigue the tail rotor is an enclosed shrouded design often called a fenestring which reduces noise and damage vulnerability Ability while maintaining yaw authority the propulsion system of the Sturmklinge uses a twin engine arrangement with two high bypass ratio turbo shafts coupled to a split path transmission allowing for continued flight on a single engine in degraded modes the engines incorporate ceramic matrix composites in the hot section permitting higher operating temperatures increased thermal efficiency and reduced weight achieving a top speed in excess of 400 kilometers per hour the platform outpaces traditional attack helicopters while retaining vertical takeoff and landing agility the fuel system system is designed for extended loiter times incorporating conformal fuel tanks and a rapid air-to-air -air refueling probe interface for extended range missions range in standard configuration exceeds 1200 kilometers with mission endurance adaptable through modular auxiliary fuel tanks or aerial refueling making the Sturmklinge suited for deep strike and long duration ISR missions the cockpit is a human-centered design organized around a glass and augmented reality architecture pilots wear integrated helmet mounted displays providing synthetic vision and sensor fusion overlays while the cockpit displays combine large area touchscreens holographic heads-up symbology and tactile haptic feedback controls to reduce cognitive load the flight control system is a digital fly-by-wire architecture with triple redundant channels and continuous health monitoring the control law suite integrates adaptive machine learning models that optimize stability control under varying flight regimes and failure conditions while providing predictive maintenance cues based on strain and vibration analytics the avionics suite is purposefully designed to thrive in denied environments with hardened communications anti-jam frequency hopping data links and a tactical mesh network node so that multiple Sturmklinge units and allied assets can share target data and sensor feeds in real time the sensor package is a multi domain fusion stack consisting of an advanced AESA radar with ground moving target indicator capability electro optic turret with day and night imaging laser rangefinder designation capability passive RF direction finding litter for precision terrain mapping and a hyperspectral sensor for target discrimination the sensor fusion suite uses edge AI algorithms to correlate signatures across sensors to reduce false positives and present the crew with a prioritized set of actionable targets with recommended engagement solutions in terms of cyber resilience the avion Avionics incorporate secure boot-signed firmware encrypted storage and an arrangement for safe remote updates through authenticated mission data cartridges or secure data link patches security operations center protocols accompany every fielded unit to monitor for suspicious activity and to manage software integrity the Sturmklinge's weapons architecture emphasizes internal carriage and modularity to preserve stealth and aerodynamic efficiency internal weapons bays are capable of accepting a wide family of munitions including precision guided air-to-ground missiles compact standoff crews 
weapons missiles loitering munitions and air-to-air -air interceptors for self-defense the lower fuselage houses a remotely aimed 30mm cannon module with programmable air burst and armor-piercing ammunition to engage both soft and hardened targets the internal bay design permits rapid reconfiguration between mission profiles so a single airframe can be equipped for close air support armed reconnaissance or anti-armored operations with minimal ground time the platform also employs an integrated unmanned systems launch and recovery suite the Sturm Klinge can deploy and control cooperative micro drones or loitering munitions which act as forward sensors electronic warfare decoys or precision strike elements these unmanned teammates expand the reach of the manned platform allowing risk reduction and enhanced situational awareness the defensive suite of the aircraft is a layered system combining passive stealth measures with active hard kill and soft kill systems passive features include ram coatings thermal management and reduced visual signature active defense employs multi-spectral missile approach warning sensors automated decoy dispensers directed infrared countermeasures and a hard kill kinetic interceptor capable of intercepting incoming guided threats at close range the platform integrates an active electronically scanned array based interference emitter to jam or blind an approaching guidance system combined with an energy management system that can prioritize power flow to defensive systems during peak threat periods the result is a platform with greatly increased survivability against modern surface to air threats and man portable air defense systems tactical employment of the Sturm Klinge exploits its combination of speed stealth and network centricity the helicopter can penetrate deep into contested airspace using terrain masking and low observability to approach high value targets undetected it can rapidly transition from a reconnaissance posture into an attack configuration using internal munitions to eliminate targets of opportunity and then egress at high speed before counter battery or air defense systems can effectively react coordinated swarm tactics using multiple Sturmklinge units and their associated unmanned assets create complex multi-axis attack vectors against integrated air defense networks enabling suppression and destruction in a single coordinated window training and human factors are equally central to the Sturmklinge program the pilot training pipeline integrates high fidelity simulation augmented reality mission rehearsal and live exercise rotations with allied partners pilots and systems operators train in joint multi-domain scenarios focusing on information management target discrimination rules of engagement and minimizing collateral damage comprehensive maintenance training is provided to ground crews including modular component replacement procedures on the flight line and advanced diagnostics using portable test equipment connected to cloud-based diagnostic libraries the logistics philosophy is to minimize lift time and maximize readiness with pre-packaged mission kits containing spare modules and interchangeable avionics packages that can be swapped in under field conditions within hours the supply chain strategy stresses redundancy and regional supplier integration to mitigate geopolitical risk while maintaining sovereign manufacturing capabilities for critical components the development history of the Sturm Klinge spans a decade of iterative prototyping test flights and phased capability deliveries early demonstrators focused on rotorcraft acoustic suppression composite manufacturing techniques and adaptive flight controls subsequent prototypes introduced sensor fusion and internal weapons carriage systems culminating in a production representative model after extensive live fire testing and interoperability exercises the program governance emphasized cross-discipline integration with an independent test and evaluation authority to validate mission performance and safety requirements public-private partnerships contributed to innovation in battery energy systems and reduced life cycle costs through commonality with commercial rotorcraft maintenance practices economic impacts of the program include job creation in advanced manufacturing high-value export potential and technology spillover into civilian aviation and industrial sectors the program deliberately pursued exportability while maintaining strict end-use controls and export licensing regimes to balance industry growth with international security responsibilities politically the Sturm Klinge represents a strategic option enabling Germany and its allies to field a highly capable indigenous rotorcraft reducing dependency on non-allied suppliers and enabling sovereign operational concepts the export of such a system invites careful diplomatic negotiation around end-user agreements training oversight and technology transfer limitations ethical considerations remain critical particularly regarding autonomous weapon use the Sturm Klinge's architecture supports optional autonomous mode specifically for navigation collision avoidance and unmanned teammate control but lethal engagement decisions remain under human control in line with current international law and German policy commitments the program includes strict rules of engagement guidance and ethical oversight board and built-in safeguards that require positive human authorization for strike execution 
execution the life cycle sustainability of the Sturmklinge was addressed from the outset material selection favored recyclable composites where possible and manufacturing processes were optimized for energy efficiency the program includes a cradle-to-grave analysis to reduce environmental impact in both production and Operation Future Upgrade Paths are an explicit part of the design The Sturmklinge forward architecture supports hybrid electric boost for reduced fuel consumption and improved burst speed performance advanced solid-state laser defensive systems to augment kinetic interceptors and next-generation directed energy suppression suites for non-kinetic defeat of sensors and seeker heads planned incremental software defined weapons integration permits field upgrades to new munition types and changes to mission software without extensive hardware modifications looking at mission profiles in realistic scenarios the Sturmklinge excels in contested urban environments where precision and discrimination are essential its sensor fusion and low collateral options enable precise strikes in dense populated areas while minimizing unintended damage the platform also serves as a mobile command node in distributed operations providing persistent ISR support to ground maneuver elements and enabling rapid retasking of munitions through secure datalink channels in expeditionary operations the Sturmklinge's ability to operate from austere forward bases and sea-based platforms affords a flexible response option for crisis management humanitarian assistance and non-combatant evacuation operations where threat levels permit the cost considerations for operating a high-end platform like the Sturmklinge are mitigated by modularity commonality with existing logistics chains and a progressive maintenance regime using predictive analytics to reduce in scheduled downtime predictive maintenance leverages onboard health monitoring across engines transmissions rotors and avionics to forecast part wear and schedule replacement before failure occurs saving both time and cost over the program life the strategic implications of adopting the Sturmklinge impact alliance deterrence posture and force projection it provides a highly visible capability that complicates adversary planning and increases options for political leaders to respond proportionally and precisely across the conflict spectrum however procurement decisions remain subject to budgetary constraints and political oversight and the balancing of investment between high-end platforms modernization of existing forces and cyber and space-based capabilities is an ongoing debate among defense planners in terms of interoperability the Sturmklinge was engineered to NATO standards for communications avionics and weapons interfaces enabling coalition operations with minimal systems friction the platform supports standardized data links common message formats and plug-and-play weapons integration kits to accept allied munitions under approved arrangements field exercises have demonstrated joint operations where Sturmklinge aircraft provided overwatch target refinement and direct strike support within a multinational task force the future of the Sturm Sturmklinge program anticipates increasing autonomy in support functions expanded use of allied unmanned systems and gradual integration of energy-based defensive systems the program roadmap includes software-centric updates that will extend capabilities without prohibitive retrofits and an upgrade channel for propulsion and material system improvements as new technologies mature the human element remains central to success and the program invests in crew resilience pilot mental health programs and advanced cognitive workload management tools to maintain peak performance performance under stressful sustained operations finally the Sturmklinge 2026 is more than a helicopter it represents a systems approach to modern warfare an engine of technological convergence where materials science avionics artificial intelligence and human expertise combine to generate decisive operational advantage its introduction will shape tactics procurement and alliance structures for years to come and will serve as a benchmark for next generation rotorcraft design whether in high intensity conflict peace support missions or humanitarian relief the Sturmklinge's adaptability and performance are designed to deliver precise effective and reliable results across the full spectrum of operations thank you for listening to this comprehensive exploration of the Sturmklinge 2026 stay tuned for technical deep dives component breakdowns and mission scenario dramatizations coming soon and remember to like and subscribe Subscribe for more extensive aviation and defense reviews auto reviews is